All right, so we're going to answer these questions here and there are different ways we can think these things through. So let's just go through them slowly. So we've got this. Now we know if we write this in index notation, what it's asking, it's saying 25 raised to the what power is equal to five. Now on the face of it, this looks a bit odd to what we've previously seen. And the reason why is because our base is uh, larger than our answer. And what that means is that the power here has to be somewhere between zero and one. And the reason why is because if we were to put one into our X spot here, we would get 25 raised to the one, which is 25. And immediately we're too big. So that means it has to be like a half or a quarter, a number between zero and one. And now you might, you know, think about it straight away because all we're doing is saying the square root of 25. So what's another way of saying the square root of 25 in terms of writing it as a rational index? Well, it's just going to be a half, isn't it? Because if this was a half, it's saying what's the square root of 25, which is five. Another way that you can think about this, which is useful, is to get the bases to be the same. So you know that 25 is five squared of X because you've got that X there. So two times X is two X, and that's going to be equal to five. You know, there's an invisible one there. Now that the bases are the same, you can equate the indices. Two X is equal to one. Therefore, X is equal to a half. So that's another way of getting to there. All right, I now want you to pause and try this one. Okay, hopefully you were successful. So you've got 16 raised the X is equal to two. Now, if you're really good with your memorization and you've, you know all the powers when the, you've got a base of two, you'll be able to look at this and say, I know that this is going to be one on four. But if you're still having trouble with it, what you could do is, well, 16 is the same thing as two raised to the four. Then you've got to times it by that X there. And then this is two to the one. So four X is equal to one. Therefore X is equal to one on four. You can kind of see that this is a little bit redundant, redundant. I don't know how to spell redundant. I'm not even going to try. Um, this is a little bit redundant because as soon as you know that you can break 16 down into two raised to the four, well, four can't be the answer because that would mean the answer here would be 16. Uh, it's quite clear that it has to be one on four to kind of go backwards here. So you don't have to go through all this process if you don't need to. This is more so, you know, just for our learning process. As soon as you can identify that two raised to the four is 16, then you're on your way of getting your answer of a quarter there. And also make sure you can type this into your calculator. So control log and we're going 16 to answer of a quarter. Perfect. Hopefully you found this helpful.